Okay, Assalamualaikum. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Ignore my barai face. I baru balik lagi dah. Okay, so anyways, I will review site. site sel, okay. Selama ni, I sebut site Dewa. But it's actually site Ewa. So yeah, site Ewa. Site Dewa punya makeup. Okay, empat je because it's so expensive. And I don't feel like paying RM500 for the full thing. Okay, so kita review apa yang ada je, okay? Disclaimer, I know site Dewa. I'm just gonna say that side Dewa. I know side Dewa in person. He did my makeup for my nikah. And I've made a video with him. Like we know each other. And also he's from Kedah. And apparently like we were somehow related. Like related jauh. But my auntie kenal his family. But I will not be biased. If it's bad, it's bad. If it's good, it's good. Okay. I do have high expectation for his makeup. Because first of all, he's a you know well-known well respected makeup artist and also i uh, dia pernah buat muka ai dia pernah like do my makeup yang cantik and also dia guna his own products and also because mahal nak mampus taklah mahal nak mampus tapi dalam standard local makeup it's expensive okay it's expensive it's not cheap okay so i have very high expectation so ni yang dia punya foundation artist fluid liquid foundation Nampak fancy. Okay, memang. It is fancy. So, packaging yang memang cantik. Tak macam timbang kilo. Okay. It's quite thick. I was not expecting that. Is the coverage in the room with us right now? Okay, second layer here. Okay, it has more coverage after the second layer. Okay, so far it looks like skin, tak nampak heavy. It's quite blurring as in like dekat pores eye, dia tak like nampak, dia tak enhance pores eye. I don't know about this guys, I don't know about this but kita another point pump. Okay, another layer here, another layer here. Okay, kita buat three layers. So, ni dah overall two layer. What are you? Are you full coverage? It doesn't say here. Dia tak kata full coverage ke apa. Dia ada some like shine. Like dia tak fully matte but it feels matte. Faham tak? It feels matte on the skin but you can see there's like other shine. Like it's not like dry matte but it it feels matte on the skin. Okay. Okay. Put the concealer. Okay, jom kita um, set. Okay, kita set. Guna powder. Kita bake, kita bake. I look like Ryan Bakery. I have tried all of their lipsticks. I ada semua colour. And my mom ada semua colour. And yeah, I, lipstick memang bagus lah. Lipstick dia memang bagus dan mampus. I dah pakai lama dah sebenarnya. Dah habis dah semua lipstick dia. So, ni in the shade Ankara. This is my favourite shade by the way. I suka colour mati macam ni. Colour macam colour mayat macam ni. So, sekejap, I'm going to do my eyebrow and I'll get back. Okay, I'll get back. Okay, so, I buat kening. Kening tak sama. Ni straight, ni curve. But, it's fine. Tak apa. So, I buat kening dah. Okay, so, we're going to brush away the powder. And I rasa macam like, the longer it sets, the longer the powder sits on my skin, the better. Okay, after letak powder, but it's, it looks dry on the skin. Dia nampak dry. I don't know how, how to feel about this. So, I dah kawan-kawan ni looks dry. Kenapa? Why does it look so dry? And it's decreased kat bawah mata air ni. Why? It's, it's, it's foundation is so drying. Okay, okay, try dia punya ni. Artist finish blush. Macam ni. So, I guess like I'm gonna like mix the blusher. No, I think I'm gonna yeah, use this shade here. Okay, I dah trauma dah dengan blusher. Cantik. The blush is really nice. Ooh. I like this blush here. Okay. Ni colour like orange coral macam tu. Okay. I think I'm gonna like pakai yang dia apa yang pink tu. I nak try yang pink. Just like mix it. So terusnya. Uh, oh. I also bought the um, eyeshadow ni. Artist finish eyeshadow in the code Jai 4. Very, oh apa ni? Oh, so apparently boleh buka ni. And ada brush. Okay, I like this. So, I have dua brush which I'm not going to use obviously. 
Macam ni, dia ada brush kat sini. Sekejap, kita pernah tengok. Dia ni ada tak ni? Dia punya blusher dia tak? Oh, blusher dia pun ada lah. Okay, okay. Ooh, and ni ni blusher, brush dia. And it feels berkualiti, okay? Okay, so I think that's why dia mahal because dia datang dengan brush. Okay, so first kali I'm going to get this lightest shade here ni. So I'm going to brush it like all over my eyelid. And then, I have buat eyeshadow senang je guys. I ambil ni. Okay, I'm guna jari I. And just letak at the center of my eyelid. And I baru I tarik to all over. Like this. It's very buttery. Like the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow itself is very buttery. It's smooth. It goes on the eyelid beautifully. Like it's a well made eyeshadow, honest, to be honest. You know what, I think I'm gonna like letak sikit. Then I'm gonna get like this color here. I'll letak ujung ni. Ni I tarik atas. I think I'm gonna use all the colors, okay. And then I'm gonna get the darkest shade here. And just stamp. I stamp je. I stamp macam ni. Okay, nampak tak? Terus kasi depth. Dia macam kasi depth. Faham kan? Depth. And then get the bigger brush and just like blend it sekali. And then I'm gonna get the small small brush tadi tu. Get the darkest. And then I'll take our mata eye. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay. So I'm gonna do my um, eyeliner pakai falsies and then I can kembali, I can kembali. Okay, so this is the final look. First of all, let's talk about the foundation. Okay, one foundation. So this is the foundation. I do not like how it looks like on my skin. It's not bad. It looks very dry on my skin. It looks very dry. It doesn't look cakey but it looks dry, okay. Dia lagi macam like make my skin drier than it actually is, faham tak? Like, I do not recommend this foundation for those with dry skin. Is it bad? It's not bad. It's not bad. Dia tak merekah ke, tak macam like patchy ke tak. Dia okay but it's dry, okay. Dia kering, kering, okay. Maybe I pakai salah ke but I pakai how I usually pakai my foundation. Like, pakai video blender. It looks dry on the skin. It looks dry on my skin at least, okay. So, I do not recommend this for people with dry skin. Okay, next. Lipstick, okay. Lipstick dia. Lip, lipstick dia memang kering. Okay, so lipstick saya dia memang kering. It's like, this is a matte lip lacquer. Dia ada gloss as I or yang yang tak matte punya. I tak, I, I, I dah habis lah. Okay, semua lipstick dia apa-apa habis lah. But ada yang gloss as I. Uh, the gloss pun okay. This one memang, memang matte because it's matte obviously. So, it's dry. But, I like the colour. I memang suka gila Ankara ni. Usually, I, I suka mix I punya. Sebelum ni, I have like all the colours. So, I would mix. What I like about his lipstick the most, the matte lip black is that you can mix. Okay, I recommend some Pradibu lipstick. The best lipstick. The best local lipstick ever. Okay, so the blush is cantik. It goes on smoothly on the skin. Yeah, it has two colours. So, macam like you can mix it. You can pakai like either one. Like, do whatever you want with this. Okay, bagi I, the blush is so pretty. Dia tak bercapuk. Dia tak too pigmented. Dia buildable and really nice. And last kali is the eyeshadow. I think that, nampak eyeshadow? Eyeshadow dia memang cantik. Eyeshadow dia like urban decay punya level, honestly. It's so buttery smooth, dia senang blend. Dia, you can blend it like seamlessly, tak nampak line ke apa ke. And the metallic ni memang betul-betul like metallic memang like pop tu. Memang pop, memang kasi you punya mata pop. And yeah, this is so, by far the best I should have palette I have tried for local and I would dare say that the quality like Sephora level in quality like it's really good in my it's very pigmented tapi senang nak blend um it's buttery smooth it's 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 a very very good amazing quality eyeshadow bagi I okay dia level like Urban Decay punya eyeshadow punya level faham tak Urban Decay punya level so, let's talk about Berbalik ke tak semua ni? I have my laptop here. Sabar nak tengok harga dia. Because I lupa harga dia. Apparently on site Dewa punya website. It's RM79. The foundation here. RM79. I beli kat kedai. I beli kat dia punya like pop-up booth dia. Like for, I think like 100 something. For RM79 bagi I. Okay lah berbalik lah. RM119. is a bit too pricey for foundation. Of this quality. Bagi I. Okay, you know what? I'm just like going to tengok dia. Is it 
full coverage apa dia punya Okay, I just uh, do medium coverage with a semi matte finish. Okay, faham, faham. Dia memang semi matte. Okay, for a dewy look, you may add. Okay, so you kena add. If you nak dewy finish look, you kena add dia punya Artist Fluid Ultra Hydrating Face Oil. I do not like when a single product relies on another product to give a certain look or finish or results. Faham tak? Bagi I, the product itself needs to be able to stand on its own it doesn't need to rely on other thing for a different result faham tak okay, i found the coverage is medium coverage okay so betul tu betul uh it's buildable betul and the same my matte finish betul memang matte tapi dia okay matte matte is like the betul matte but when you put it on without the powder and everything just the foundation on its own it feels matte tapi dia ada shine dia ada shine dekat you know like dekat Dekat the high point of your face Like you can cheekbone, sini, sini Dia shine It means memang betul Dia semi matte finish Maksudnya dia, dia tak completely matte So because It still has a bit of shine Dekat part of your face Faham tak? Okay so tu betul Tailored for Asian skin Okay sure buildable betul Tu lah kata Dia kata for the finish look Kena add dia punya like Hydrating face oil Which I do not agree But that's just me and they're available in 12 shades. Okay. Shade range dia bagus. I applaud dia punya shade range because usually local skincare lah ada 5 shade range dia. Okay. So, so people with like darker skin can try this out. They're fragrance free so bagus so it's good for sensitive skin. Okay. Itu je. RM7. Okay boleh beli. But one one nine, I think it's, like, it's a bit pricey untuk uh, foundation. Okay. Because Alha Alpha pun lagi murah by ni. Yeah. I give this a B plus. Because it's almost good but not quite. Faham tak dia almost nak ke A tapi because dia kena tambah ni lah, tambah tu lah to make it dewy semua tu. Yeah. Side dia what? Because I know he's gonna watch this video. Uh, I would really like it if you buat foundation yang dewy finish. Yang very like luminous, silky finish tu. But I understand that you know foundation mahal like. Especially if you create banyak shade range memang mahal. So maybe in the future, semoga murah rezeki you, rezeki bertambah. Uh, you boleh produce foundation yang dewy, silky, luminous finish, okay? Because this one is not for me. But if you if you suka matte, matte or semi-matte finish, you will like this. Dry skin, no. Oily skin, maybe you can use this, okay? So I give this a B plus. Okay, next, kita tengok next is the lipstick. The original size is 69. Okay, for 69, uh, mahal, mahal. Tapi, the color is really nice. I really like the color. If you tak mampu beli the original size, you can try the mini size. The mini size punya, bagi I okay lah harga dia. Like, price-wise, okay. Berbaloi ke tak, it depends on you. Bagi I berbaloi. Okay, so ni, I will give this, this particular, like, ni, ni, matte lip black ni, I will give like an A. Because, Dulu sama sekarang memang I suka. Uh, the blusher. Okay, the blusher. Where's the blusher? So, the blusher here is... It, it is pricey. Okay, this for RM85, get pricey. Yeah, bagi pesan, it's, it's, this is quite pricey for a blusher. But, I faham why the price point for all of his products are higher than most local product. I rasa mainly sebab the packaging. The packaging is really well made and well thought of okay it doesn't feel cheap they must it it's like a solid packaging they are the mirror ada ni and then what do you call it? emboss eh? emboss eh? so i know this for a fact this is not cheap to make okay and then they are the another compartment for the brush and then they are this ni semua so that uh the brush tak berkulat okay that, the point of this so that the brush tak terperak and berkulat kau tahu faham tak uh the brush pun very high quality memang bagus so I think what you're paying is you're paying for the packaging, for the good packaging. So I faham why the price point is higher. Tapi the packaging justify the price lah. Bagi I, it depends on you. Macam I, I don't care about the packaging because I just not good product. As long as the packaging is not faulty, I'm fine. Okay, I'm okay with this. But yeah, you're paying for the packaging sebenarnya bagi I. And the quality, quality pun bagus juga. Bagi I, this should be around 60. 60 ringgit memang justified. But 85 is a bit like <coughs> terkejut sikit, okay? But yeah, it, it depends on you. If you someone yang memang you value the packaging, value good packaging, maybe this is a value for you. But if you tak suka packaging, you don't care about it, then this might be a bit expensive for you. 
I mean the quality of the blush itself and how it looks on the skin, I will give this an, an A. The smooth, dia tak bercapuk, dia senang nak blend, the color is really nice. The quality I give A, but again I understand why it is price higher. I faham, I faham. So this is 89 ringgit guys. 80 ringgit, berbalui. Berbalui. Sebab you have four shades. Uh, tiga matte and satu metallic. Memang berbalui. 85 ringgit for this berbalui bagi I. Sumpah. Because the quality is insane. The quality of this eyeshadow is amazing. Okay. Like memang high-end punya quality. Memang like I rasa dia tahap Urban Decay punya eyeshadow. Which is like a compliment. 89 ringgit, yeah, definitely. Mahal, memang mahal. Tapi for the quality that you're getting, memang berbaloi and memang bagus. So if not really good, I should that you can wear often or you know, selalu ke apa ke, you they can definitely get this. Okay, this one 89 ringgit memang berbaloi, nak mampus. It's so buttery soft. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this on my tangan. Look! Oh my god, it's buttery tak? Buttery soft. Ni yang the darker shade dia ada tu. And dia tak chalky. It's not chalky at all. Chalky maksudnya, okay, chalky. C-H-A-L-K-Y. So, I ajar you. Chalky maksudnya, the eyeshadow dia kering. Macam kapur. Dia kering and dia tak ada pigment. It's not pigmented and dia kering and so nak blend. So, that is chalky. Okay. Tu maksudnya chalky. Dia macam kapur. Uh, and tu contoh eyeshadow yang tak bagus. This one is buttery soft and it's so easily blendable. Dia memang blend, dia memang senang nak blend. Okay, and then last sekali is the, the metallic. Look at the metallic. So, overall, I rasa set they were cosmetic ni memang super quality. I think there, there are room for improvements uh, when it comes to the foundation. I think set they were is the standard for good quality for like the local makeup industry because alha alha alpha bagi i in my opinion alha alha alpha pun foundation is better than setiap pun foundation but it's it doesn't look that aesthetically pleasing and faham tak like if you compare alha alpha dengan setiap dewa setiap dewa punya aesthetic vibes is far like superior mana lagi like style lagi cantik lagi elok bagi i uh, I think Set Dewa punya market is mainly for like KL Selangor, like bandar-bandar area and Aha Alpha is more to like luar bandar um, so hence the packaging and direct, apa style direction diorang uh, the direction of the company, the direction of the brand, the style direction the creative direction tu, dia cater to their own uh, demographic but yeah, amazing packaging Good quality. So Dewa is a really really good brand. Okay. Really really good local brand. So that's it. That's my review. Itu sahaja. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Mwah.